Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Chris, and this is Code Vein, and this is part two of the strength build playthrough. So I'm just going to carry on from where I left off last time. Just took down Oliver Collins, and hopefully we're going to get some more uh, items to increase our build in this in this playthrough. For now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home. Your friend is probably. It's F all like my name. I want and I'm wonder and for I would Okay, so what do I need to do here? It won't be it'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy and that bite while you wait. Uh do we go down here? What's down here? Let's get a mirror. Meal. Alternative Mia, why? Um, so I think I might be using her as a partner in this playthrough. Uh, last time, first playthrough, we used uh, Ikumo, who is a really nice uh, tank partner to have. Yeah, but this time we're going to be the tank, so. Get a ranged DPS to help support. If my theory is correct, well, here it goes. Okay, nice. Can we get any more? I think I have to come back for him. Um. Let's see if we can just travel out. Not just yet. Did what you want? I think that might have done it. Springs are so. We can head out whenever you're ready. Some. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's switch the switch partner. Me a white version. Let's go with her. And then teleport. <laughs> oh, you're exploring this area too? I'm, I haven't seen a fellow. I'll be around. <sighs> okay, so we speak to this guy first. He gives us the map for Den of Darkness. Our first kind of like mini quest, and these are just going to be like additional areas to get more uh, to more vestiges from. That, right? So it's given us a little quest to go into the uh, into the depths to go through that map. You can't go ahead on your own. Uh, so there's another one here as well. You should show it to Davis. Should I travel through this long winding corridor? I'll be right there. Which is just just kind of like a, a loading screen to get us into the next area. Let's just go back here and make sure we've actually activated it. It's glowing. I think we have, but just to make sure. Um, okay. This place 
place is huge. Hard to believe there's nobody left. Marvelous find. Everyone was. <sighs> okay, so now we're picking up uh, vestiges. Too many places and to hide. I've got a bad figure, every time we like uh, collect uh, a new blood code, there's gonna have they're gonna have scales, and some of them we need to unlock, uh, and that's what vestiges come into it. Collect vestiges, kind of restore their memories, and it unlocks new scales. Let's buff up. Uh, one of the things I hate about this game is they stick uh, enemies in some like surprise positions. Well, they'll just like jump out of you when you're not expecting it, especially the first time around. You get uh, uh, shook quite a bit by these. She's, uh, she's pretty nice. She's doing quite a bit of damage. She's taking them out. Go around this sort of way. Marvelous. It's lonely here. I wonder what it was like at its peak. I don't like tight spaces like this. <laughs> See if we can get any of those on. Yeah, because I've had a bit of a break since I've done the first episode of this, so I'm gonna be like very rusty at trying to get these uh trying to get these parries down. Might wait till I get to the save point first. Yeah, she's just, she's just annihilating these guys. That looks like the parking garage. There are lots of enemies across there. Take care. Oh, I hear that bridge down there. It's gonna be trouble, but uh, that's where the Zoyhander is. Which we're going to be using for most of this playthrough. I must be letting my image slip. Is that really? Okay, then we got this big mama to deal with. Good old saggy tits. And she can hit hard as well. 
and just take us out like that. <sighs> okay, we're back up. She can't be staggered. She's got like a really long uh, swing as well. I suppose like hold back a bit when she's trying to attack. And the best thing about having a partner character is that they can bring you back to life as well. Oh, so always good to have one with you, at least for your first playthrough. Okay, and we're at our second missile for this area. Secondary weapon, we've got this one. I'm on my way. There were lots of people in these buildings once. I didn't rest. That might have been a good idea. <laughs> Since I haven't got any more health regens. Uh, let's see how we get on anyway. So we've got all these guys playing dead down here. Uh, I kind of want to bait this guy out, but I don't think I've got anything... Like, we've got the worst enemy coming up ever. I hate these guys, they're so annoying. <laughs> they just literally just throw themselves at you. some buffs up for the spell and just kind of you can like take these out one by one if you just run up around the back which way should we go I think there's a pretty nice item around here, if we can get to it. Might just let me take him out. That's a marvelous find. Regen extension factor. I will take that. So that's just going to give us an extra heal. Nice, just heal up now, get that health back. Um, alright, so let's just go this way first. Have I even changed my code? So we're on fighter. Um, so we did get a berserker as well. Just keep an eye out while you're busy. Um, so we've lost the ability to use this, so we're just gonna have to get back to one of these. Um, 
Um, let's go with this one for now. Queenslayer Thorn. So we haven't actually unlocked that many skills for this. Um, so let's just pull these things back in there. Can't use that one. Um, let's throw that on there just so we can learn it while we're running about. You think this ladder will hold? Take care and watch where you put your feet. Okay, I don't feel like I've got enough healing to actually get down here. Um, uh, especially to get the items anyway. So uh, let's go down and try it. I might be able to survive. Oh, she didn't. I feel like the last drop is going to be, is going to hurt. Even this one is, I think. Oh, no way. Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I was on there. We just slid off. Uh, so at least we've got a bit more healing, so we should be able to grab some of these other, other bits. If we could actually land on some platforms. Let's go down this way. I might be making a, a few trips down here just to get my uh, my haze back. Um, Yeah, it's kind of the easy way down. And then we're at the bottom. I'll be right there. So I just wanted to trigger this. Hopefully we should be able to get a new uh, blood code when we go back to our home base. Can we not get that to go down? I thought we just wait for, to wait for that button to pop up. Um, okay, so I want to make sure I get on the right one this time. Uh, so that's going to be the other side. Side. Uh, that's just going to lead us back. <sighs> Fuck. 
fuck's sake, man. So I kind of need to get over there. Can we... I think we can just roll off here. Yeah, just take a bit of damage. And then back onto there. this one we kind of slipped off so we just want to make sure we're actually getting on that ledge there we go what do we get was even worth it condensed lost shard uh, let's heal up and roll off here Okay, and now we're back at the bottom. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we've got a. Uh, I've already brought it down. Let's just go back up a little bit. some of these guys out first. There's definitely like one or two of these that can arrive. Um, okay, let's head around this way. Some doggos over here. Short in all these motherfuckers. And this last one here. Yeah, then we've got some little, uh, little flying monkey things. We'll put that to good use. You're good. Is that over there what it looks like? And then this guy. Uh, so these guys with the shields, they can parry you, but they're easy enough to just uh, walk around to the back and get a backstab. Uh, oh, I don't need to go that way yet.
parking garage from before? choice. Um, so, <coughs> I'm just going to want to head back. Uh, unlock the shortcut. Uh, new veil as well, which is up here. Is it something nice? G GXH assault plus one. Um, so, so we should be able to. We can't even throw that on yet. So what do we need? Uh, willpower. So let's teleport back to home base. <clears throat> Hopefully we should be able to unlock a new blood code uh, for this drunk build. Um, you over here. There's something out my blood. It's a symbol of trust. Go on, take it. So we got Atlas. It's a nice uh, two-hander kind of star blood code. Um, we got his. <clears throat> so we can restore some vestiges when we get the vestiges. I still need uh, a few more. I probably don't need to bother with these actually. Uh, but we definitely need to get these ones. Let's restore these. These are just the hunter ones. Uh, I'm not sure if they give me any uh, skills that I need, but we can uh, just skip these like little story, um, <coughs> little story parts. It was a small thing, but I was certain that it would do some good. So what's lying down? <laughs> Get up, woman. Did something like that. What is it? Most rev and the there could be something else, so the it's like he said, 
It's my fault for sending him off alone and unsupervised. <sighs> okay, so I think that's all the ones that we <coughs> that we can restore. What is it? Just have a have another check. Yeah. Take care. Can we get any more of these uh, blood codes? Does she even have one? I don't know. Yeah, but I think yeah, if we go anyway. for the characters that here, we can just uh, even the lost are valuable. Come again. Get their blood codes, but that's not working just yet. Yeah, I guess it depends where you get to in the story. Your luck. Okay. Okay, so let's see which ones we've got so far, if we need anything to kind of level up to take with us. Um, nope. There's only going to be a few that we, that we are going to need. And these are not one of them. Um, temporarily makes it easier to stagger enemies with your weapon. Temporarily increases resistance to being staggered. Uh, some of these would be nice, and that one, balance up, increases balance. That's what we do need. Iron well temporarily reduces damage taken by weaving a barrier into your blood. And Dragon Lunge. So these are definitely ones that we're going to need, uh, want to get. Uh, I also want to get this one. Flame Weapon. Tempor temporarily adds fire damage to your, your and your partner's current weapon. So that's going to be a nice one to have. Um, so we need to unlock that one. Atlas. This is going to be the main one we want to start working on as soon as we get those berserk skills, mainly for this uh, two-handed sword mastery and for a few other skills as well. Uh, we want willpower up. I don't think we can get that. Where can we get that from? Um, I don't know, but we need to unlock this two-handed sword mastery as well. Atlas Vestige 2. That might be in the depths, I'm not sure, but yeah. Let's unlock some of these and kind of work on them. So we're going to want all of these uh, passive ones in here. Um, focus that moves just stamina boost. Let's take our guard stability and put balance up. Um, and for these ones, if we're not using Triple Annihilator or Dragon Lunge, let's try, let's try having Dragon Lunge in there. Um, and we want to get these, these ones. So whenever you unlock any uh, gifts on a on a blood code, um, you need to actually have them on the bar to gain experience for them. <clears throat> and that's how you can, uh, once you level them up, then you can um, activate them on any other blood code. There are some gifts that you can't level up, and they're only activated on those certain blood codes. But the majority of them, you can just move them around. I said to these devs, just knock out one of these first, or maybe two Don't of them and see how far we get.